my channel into the most Christmassy corner in my whole house because today we are filming a bonus Christmas video. I'm sure if you are a YouTube watcher, you know it's Vlogmas for a lot of creators. This is the time of the season where people push out extra videos and I'm not doing Vlogmas, but I am putting out some extra Christmas bonus videos. I have Max here. Hello, cutie. I love you. And today <laughs> we are doing a video that I was kind of hesitant on making at first. You're so precious. But I put a sticker on my Instagram asking what Christmas videos, what Christmas themed content you want from me. And this was probably the most requested. And it is what my personal Christmas wish list is for 2020. I didn't really wanna make it at first cause I don't want my loved ones to think like I want every single one of these things. In fact, I'm not really asking for a ton of physical gifts this year. There's not just like a ton of physical things I want, but I went ahead and compiled a list of everything that I would love to get just one or two of these things up. And then also a couple things that I got for myself this year. So without further ado, let's get into my Christmas wish list and hopefully it acts as inspiration if you are trying to figure out things that you want for Christmas or if you have a loved one in my category age range interest range and you're trying to figure out gifts for them these are the things I would want so maybe these are the things they would want I wrote them down because it's very hard for me to remember these things. So first, this seems kind of odd and random, but one thing I really want is a square leather wallet. And it's very hard to find square leather wallets for girls. I don't know why guys get that shape of wallets. I feel like all of our wallets are like this, or they're just like coin purses, which is so annoying. But I have a purse that I love. It doesn't fit both my wallet and my vlog camera. So I just wanted a smaller, more compact wallet, not one that was shaped like this, because that takes up the full body of my purse, but one that takes up half the body of my purse so I can put my vlog camera on the other half. And I found some really cute ones. I'll pop a little picture of this one that I found from Mark and Graham and this is one that is customizable so I thought it was adorable. What are you eating? So that's something very practical that I would love to get and I do think it's a really cute gift idea if you were to customize it for your loved one and give it to them. Next, this is what I actually asked Brooke for for Christmas. It is a curling iron and I asked him for whatever curling iron my friend Anna recommends. If you don't know my friend Anna, this is who she is. Is. She does my hair. She's based out of Texas. She's based out of Austin. So if you're in the Texas area, you're looking for a hairstylist, highly recommend going to her. But the reason I want a curling iron is because I am cutting my hair short this winter. And currently I curl my hair with a straightener and I just don't think it's gonna work very well on short hair. So I want like a kind of wide barreled curling iron to do some like loose curls. You know what? I will ask Anna whatever she recommends and whatever her professional recommendation is. I will go ahead and link that down below for y'all as well. Cause I don't know anything about hair stuff, honestly. I just go to her with all of my questions. Okay, this is something secret. Okay, my mom knows that I really want this, but I don't actually want it logistically. Like, it's not practical where we live right now, but I have been so in love with the idea of an espresso machine. I just think they sound so glamorous and European, and all the little pods sound like so much fun, but I thought that they were <laughs> super expensive. And then I went to their website, and they have this whole line of different types of Nespresso machines that are under 150 bucks. Under 200. I think there's one that's like 170 and there's one that's less than that. The reason it's not practical for me right now is we already don't have any counter space in our home at all. Maybe in our next house is a possibility, but that's something that I've secretly looked at their website 30 times and would love to get, even though it's not practical, but you know, that's a good like big gift for someone. Another thing that is not practical due to the storage and the size of our current home, but that I would love is better lighting. As you can see, this lighting is very harsh and very cold. I'm probably going to try to warm up the colors when I edit this video, but I have a very, very, very crappy ring light from Amazon that I spent maybe 30 bucks on and it's just crap. I would love to get those large studio lights that are the two box light sets. You could have a box light on either side. It's very diffuse, control the color tip. I would love that, but I don't think we have the storage space. I should rename this video to things I really want for Christmas and then excuses why I don't actually want them. <laughs> This is up there with the curling iron as to like something very practical that I actually really, really do want. I don't know what the rules are across the US and I don't know the general perception to this and when it's going to be acceptable for us to actually all do this, but I've been researching it and I have determined the thing I want to start doing consistently once I figure out all of that, like when it's allowed is a membership to Massage Envy. So I think their pricing differs quite a bit from state to state, but in California, an hour massage 
massage when you're not a member is $120. It's really expensive. And Massage Envy is super nice. I've been there a handful of times. But when you're a member, it's $70 a month and you get an hour massage a month. And then you can add on an hour service for only $50 a month. I know it's a splurge, which is why I'd never really actually do it. But this year I'm trying to get my stress under control. And I feel like that's something that would really, really help with my stress. So I would much rather spend $100 on massages than $100 on clothes. And so therefore I'd rather be gifted that. I actually emailed them because they have a referral program for everybody, no matter who you are, to where every time a member signs up as your referral, you get a free hour massage. So I don't know how that works. I'm waiting to hear back from their customer service, but if it's a link, I will link it down below because then hopefully I could rack up some free massages and save them for a rainy day whenever we're allowed to actually do that. But that's an experience gift and a gift that keeps on giving. So I think that that's a great gift to give to people. Like I said, different protocols are different wherever you live. California, we're being super strict right now, staying at home, LA specifically. So I don't know, but I'm throwing that out there and maybe 2021, I would be able to cash that in. <laughs> a couple things that I got for myself that haven't come in the mail yet, but I did just place an order. They're actually both Everlane things and they're both rebuying things I already have from Everlane, which is why I got them for myself. And also I've worked with Everlane on a couple videos. So I was able to like pick them out as part of the videos that we've been doing. But I broke the zipper of my favorite pants and I paid to get the zipper replaced, but the person didn't do a very good job. So I finally went ahead and reordered the pants. And it is the curvy cheeky straight jean specifically and I think it's called washed black is the color and it's if you are a pear shaped person it's the only pair of jeans that I've been able to find that I can wear without a belt it has been life changing and I love the kind of like vintagey black it's not a black black it's not a gray it's kind of an in between and it just matches well with everything and my wonky zipper has been bothering me and I wear these pants like three days a week so I went ahead and got a new pair of those and for jeans before that I loved loved Madewell's jeans the most. And Madewell jeans are like $120, $130. These are 78, so they make Madewell jeans look exorbitant. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I should go get it, but I'm too lazy. I got this half zip up wool sweater from Everlane and it's pretty pricey. It's I think $120, so it's definitely a splurge, but I have been wearing it every single day and I love it so much and it sold out so quick. They had it in black, white, and antler. Antler is the color I had it in, but they are bringing it back in a whole new color called ox blood and it's this beautiful like cinnamon color and I put in a request for my next video with Everlane to hopefully get it. I don't know when it's coming out, but I'm so excited about the possibility because I've literally checked the website for both the pants and that half zip up probably once a day for the last two weeks trying to rebuy those for myself because I want that in another color and I wanted to replace my zipper. The last two things are smaller things, although one's kind of pricey even though it's small. So I got my mom something. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go get them. I'm gonna go get both these things. Just a second. So here's the half zip up sweater. It's so flattering. It's so comfortable. The only catch is it's supposed to be dry cleaned. I hate it when things are supposed to be dry cleaned. Same with this. So instead I bought antibacterial Febreze for clothing and I've just been spritzing this and not washing it. It actually smells clean, so that's been working, but it's so comfortable. So excited to hopefully get it in another color. But this is something that I got my mom for her birthday. She accidentally left it here, so I'm holding on to it until the next time I get to see her. But these are slippers from Anthropology, and these are so soft. They are a little bit pricey. I think that they're $40, give or take. They have slippers at Anthropology that are literally $150, so I guess it's not that pricey, but in my eyes, they're a splurge because they're not necessary or practical at all. But these feel like a dream. They feel amazing, and I just think that it's such a fun little luxury that I would love these. And the last thing is something that I have actually got for Christmas every year for the last two years, I think my mom got this for me, but it's the Grande Lash MD Eyelash Serum, and I have been out of it again for about three months. I normally like stretch it out. It's not supposed to last this long, but I use it for like nine months. In the last three months of the year, it's pretty much gone. But this is the best eyelash serum. I've seen such improvement in my eyelashes using it. And I've even had makeup artists compliment my eyelashes when I used to have the worst, stubbiest, thinnest eyelashes. It's like magic, but it's really pricey. I think it's also like 70 or $80, which is why I would never buy it for myself. I can't justify that. That is my, what I would love for Christmas, even though some of those things are not practical and I don't actually want them, even though I want them, you know what I mean? Hopefully that was entertaining or helpful to you if you're trying to figure out things you want for Christmas. Or like I said, if you have a girlfriend, wife, 
daughter, cousin, sister, niece, whatever, that is similar to me in any way, shape or form. Hopefully that's helpful. I will do my best to link all these things down below. This video is not sponsored though by anybody. Sometimes, sometimes I'm able to link these through an affiliate platform where I will make like a very small percentage of sales as commission, which does help my channel out and does not change the price at all to you. So I'm gonna see if I can do that for any of these things. So if you use the links down below, some of them might help me out and might help my channel out. So I'll see what I can do. But I love y'all so much. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching this bonus video and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I miss